Back in the early 2000s, the former J.D. Estates Park on 4th Street caught the attention of a group of more city leaders. Kefi Griffith was serving on the city council at the time. The comment had been made that we need a location to honor our uh, veterans from the city of Moore. And so it was just a, a group of individuals. There was um, David Sugart and there was Stan Drake with the city of Moore, Todd Jensen, um, and several others. Um, that kind of started the collaboration, getting the idea together, um, Preston Sims, um, and then there were a couple of others. And so it just kind of came together organically. Those early discussions eventually became reality and Veterans Memorial Park was opened in 2007. Phase one included the granite obelisk and tablets representing all five branches of the U.S. military. Phase two included a horseshoe area with more than 190 bricks, each with a veteran's name on it. So it's a way to honor the service, the sacrifice, not only of the service members, the civilians and their families who have served. And it's just a great place for people to uh, say thank you and to honor. Phase three added the flag plaza and the wall of honor, which recognizes around 1,000 veterans for their honorable service to our country. Veterans Memorial Park has become one of Moore's most iconic parks, even as it took a direct hit from the 2013 tornado. So my son was there just shortly after the tornado had passed through and took some photos. I mean, it was, it was beyond devastating. I couldn't look at the photos he had taken fast enough. There's a couple of scrapes and scars on the um, obelisk. Um, I know that the, uh, the wooden statues took a hit and that hurt the people of Moore, the citizens of Moore, when those uh, wooden statues came down. I mean, it's like a piece of our soul was missing while they were being repaired and then uh, before they got brought back. But the response from the community in cleaning up the park and repairing the damage helped heal the wounds from that 2013 storm. So much negativity in the world, and, and that is so much that I just shut my mind to. And I think about things like that, times like that, when so many people showed up and they brought supplies and they brought tools and they brought gloves and they walked hand in hand, shoulder to shoulder with us to put that park back together. The park even won the America's Favorite Park Contest in 2013, beating out the Grand Canyon, Yosemite, and more than 12,000 state parks from all across the country that resulted in a $100,000 grant from Coca-Cola. The money was used to help with repairs and to install a new playground. Now, a campaign is underway to add the names of more veterans to the Wall of Honor. Phase three is the Wall of Honor, and that is um, for any service member that lived in the city limits of Moore or went to school in the Moore school system. If you attended Moore schools or lived in the city limits of Moore, you are more than welcome to submit an application. Griffith says that once about 200 names have been submitted, more plaques will be added to the Wall of Honor with those names. I wanted to make sure that those um, names were raised so you could get a piece of paper and take a, um, a pencil and rub it on there so you can have your rubbings and so you can be able to take that person's name with you. And I've located my dad's name and I've located loved ones' names and family members' names. So it's nice to go back and to see that you know other people are seeing the same things that I'm seeing they're looking for it and you know every time you go there you see someone and they're pointing down to where their loved one's name is at. And in the meantime preparations are being made for this year's Veterans Day ceremony coming up on Wednesday November 11th. Uh, it's, it means everything to me I mean it's a it's a great place it's a great way for those that haven't served to be able to say thank you. If you're interested in having your name or the name of a family member who is a veteran added to the Wall of Honor, just visit the City of Moore's website. Click on the menu in the upper right hand corner, then click on the Parks and Recreation link, then the link to Veterans Memorial Park. You'll find a link to a PDF version of the application near the top of the page. Just download that application, fill it out, and then mail it along with a copy of the DD-214 or proof of honorable discharge to American Legion Post 184, 207 Southwest 1st Street, Moore, Oklahoma 73160. The application will be reviewed and you'll be notified when it is accepted. 
If you have any questions about the process, just call American Legion Post 184 at 405-794-5446. Office hours are Wednesdays from noon to 4 p.m. And don't forget to mark your calendars for the 2020 Veterans Day celebration. That's at 10 a.m. on Wednesday, November 11th at Veterans Memorial Park.